Hey, does anyone want to ride with me? Today I'm going to visit a store called Family Dollar. If you want to ride, let's go. Let's go take a look and see what Family Dollar has. Can we find anything nice in here? Preppers, let's go. Let's see what Family Dollar has. Lots of over-the-counter medicines here. Allergy. Definitely want to make sure you get some of these just in case. And you still see some gaps in here too where they're not getting what they used to get. Empty spaces, a few. Not many cough drops. Empty spaces there. Then you have your pain medication here, over the counter pain medication. More empty spaces there, but they still have a decent supply. Tylenol, acetaminophen, ibuprofen. I mean, just the heartburn relief. Look at the heartburn relief, stomach relief. Like they don't have much Pepto Bismol at all. See, all these things as a prepper you should already have, and you have to rotate these things out just like you do, just like you do food. Of course, you have your medical wraps, bandages, gauzes, anti-itch creams, anti, what's the thing that one said, anti-fungus down there, foot care, antibiotic, an antibiotic ointments, multivitamins. Definitely want to make sure you have some of these, a good supply of these. Whether you're getting them by the food you eat, but these are definitely coming hand. I would say when food becomes a uh, rare, let's say if that ever if that's ever to happen, of course they have a toilet tissue. They have an okay supply of toilet tissue. I mean they have the obviously Charmin, Cottonelle. The price is okay. I mean that's five dollars right there. Twelve rolls. Down here, home line brand. Have some containers over here, ten dollars. You can never have enough of these. It can actually uh, help declutter the home or the bug out location. More toilet tissue here. Eleven dollars, twelve roll. Scott, it's a decent brand. I don't know, it seems like Scott has gotten a little bit thinner lately. I think they're probably cutting back a little bit. Homeline brand. They have some Angel Soft over there in the corner. 12 rows there. You can get to your cleaning supplies over here. Clorox, bleach, Homeline. And as I said, that's the, I'm assuming this is the store brand. I never heard of it before, but hey, get what you can get while you can get it. Clorox, $4.95. This is not the gallon, but I think it's the next size down from the gallon in the Clorox. Now the home line is a gallon. 
you have your disinfected wipes, Clorox, Lysol, Homeline brand. They have Fabuloso. I didn't even know Fabuloso made disinfectant wipes. I had no idea they made disinfectant wipes. Five dollars ten cents. Over here have flashlights. I think this is their as seen on TV section. I don't know how well any of these things work, how durable they are, but they do have them. Neutral blade. So yeah, if you've seen it on TV, in those infomercials, it's probably on this end cap right here. Air fryer, more flashlights, tack lights is what they call them. Of course you have gloves, mask there, wire brushes. So you have a you know, duct tape. Yeah, I could see, you know, I, I could see a good reason to come by here and maybe grab a few items. Have some little rope or yarn, whatever that is right there. Let's see. Oh, poly rope. Okay, 50 feet. That could become useful at some point. Here you have... I see utility knives along with the blades. There's a hammer up there. Another folding utility knife. Tool sets, extension cords, more hammers laying there. So yeah, I mean, I do see, uh, I can definitely see a reason to come by here. Like this is just another option if you can't find something anything anywhere else. Flashlights there. I mean, push come to shove or SHTF, you want to have as many places as you can go as possible to get the items you need. Preferably you get them before then, but this is just something to keep in mind. WD-40, all-purpose lubricant gasoline containers $16 here definitely want to make sure you keep some of those especially now two cycle engine oil so you, hey keep as many of those as you need because more oil now the water supply here wasn't that great like they didn't have a lot in stock not sure why but I mean, they have some familiar brands, but I do see empty space on the water, on the shelves with the water. Gallon jugs. One liter bottles. Now I'm get to the canned goods. Evaporated milk. Condensed filled milk. Definitely want to make sure you have that. Go your coconut milk over there. Cornstarch, many uses for cornstarch. Food for food and hygiene. Of course, you have your pork and beans, pumpkin, tuna. You can never have too much tuna in the pantry. Soups, soups are very good. These are a buck twenty-five here. Pasta. Now, this is not like a regular grocery store, so they're not going to have, you know, the variety, but they do have enough. Of course, your pasta sauces, spaghetti sauces, Spam, Armor, Treat, yeah, potted meat, Vienna sausage. So, yeah, definitely check one of these out. More candle, uh, Campbell's soups. So yeah, this is a decent place to go here. Campbell's Chunky Soups. I like those. Have your noodles. You can never go wrong with ramen noodles in an emergency situation. 
more canned goods over here, canned vegetables mostly, green beans, corn, mixed vegetables, beets. So yeah, your Hispanic foods right there. For those who love Chef Boy RD, Sweet Sue, chicken dumplings. All right now, those are just a few things that you can see in Family Dollar here. See what they have, what they can contribute to the, to the prepper community. They're not a bad uh, store to go to. I would say most of them, most of the locations, uh, the Family Dollar locations I know are in more of the, uh, the urban area. Well, at least in this area where I'm at, uh, or in the state where I'm in, most of the family dollars are in more. Let's just be honest, more in the minority areas. So if you have one in your area, hey, I would say check it out. The variety is not great, but the prices are okay. If you if you know, uh, if you've ever heard of Dollar General, I would say they're more comparable to a Dollar General. Anyways, Get in the car real fast here. Anyways, um, what did you all think? Do you think it's a decent store? Just from what I showed you, you can actually go to and maybe get a few cheap prepping supplies or household supplies, everyday supplies, whatever. Um, if you have one in your area, let me know in the comments. Uh, have you ever been to one? Let me know in the comments. And as always, Please give the video a like. Please subscribe to the channel. And most definitely, get ready, stay ready. God bless you.